Hi, welcome to Raj Elnai. In today's video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to connect the Bitbucket in reference to the code uh, restoration and all that, especially on Jira. Because as we know, like uh, Jira is a project management come bug tracking tool, especially widely used across industries in agile environment. In this, there are different different tools we use and we'll connect different tools with Jira. Something like Confluence, which will be for document collaboration. At the same time, we use uh, Jeffer scale for uh, test cases to write with. Even to write jQuery queries or if you want to create any script runner, etc. Groovy scripting and all, we use uh, script runner. Along with that, if you want to store and if you want to update any kind of code, whatever is writing for the project, for any of the project, whatever we are working on. So there is a tool which is called Bitbucket, which is being used. It's a kind of source code management tool, widely used in industry, especially in Jira nowadays. So wherein uh, we can connect to Bitbucket and we can use it. So there is an option you can see here in the board itself uh, for the project, whatever I have created, you can see there will be an option because normally in this banner you see, there are options which you can see for exclusive for planning. After that, there are some options which will be used for development, right? So in this, there is an option where you can see an option called code, right? So whenever you are clicking on this, so, you, so that you can see over here, connect to Bitbucket, right? So Bitbucket is where generally the source code management happens. So connect to Bitbucket. Now here we need to uh, create, right? So we need to create a Bitbucket related things, right? So we need to create big Bitbucket workspace, right? So all these things we can create so that simply we can click on connect here. So whenever you are clicking on the connect, you can see stay successfully connected to rajinsb at atlassian.net, right? That's what generally it was showing you. Now you can see, you can click on connect so that the Bitbucket is being connected. Now, if you want to pull out any kind of requests which are relating to the project, wherein we can pull out the information over here. At the same time, here, if you want to edit any repositories, whatever is required, there is an option called add repository. You can see in back of it, I have shown you top right. You can see add repository. In this repositories, we can add different, different tools and all everything. We can add tools. Whatever the related and relevant tools are required and all everything is what we can add it, right? So add tools. At the same time, we can use add code repositories if you want. Or if there is any kind of documentation space, if you want, we can add it easily. At the same time, any security containers, etc., etc. All these things can be used here. So here you can see there is an option called add tools to build. That's what it was showing you. So here you can see add tool or add code repository. Right? For example, add code repository is what? We need to select the repositories. Whatever the repositories do we have? So already we have selected a repository, which is called Bitbucket. Right? So this is what generally the repository which was added already. Now, if you want to add any kind of tools relating to that, so we have to add these tools. For example, we are working on DevOps environment nowadays, okay? Because there is an integration we need to do, whatever the integration substantially, if you want to integrate anything. So there is an integration process where if you want to install a Bitbucket, it is already there, right? So it was because Bitbucket pipelines, because CICD, continuous integration, uh, and uh, continuous development and deployment is what generally we use in DevOps environment. Because nowadays, almost all the application development and uh, environment in reference to the applications, whatever we are developing, everything is happening in the cloud environment, in the DevOps environment. It's an environment where both uh, uh, development and as well as operations will be happens on a single platform. So for that, we use different tools. So we can create continuous pipeline because if there is any changes to be made in middle of the project, so that has to be addressed equally. And whatever we have addressed, that has to be updated normally, right? So for that reason, generally this 
discovery of integration of tools like Bitbucket pipelines and all everything are being used. So this is one of the uh, key element which normally we need to do it. So, it's, so which is one thing, right? Add to the project is what we can do. Right. So at the same time, circle for Zira, if you want to use any, because there are, of course, there are a lot of things. For example, Jenkins also we can use, Jenkins from Zira. So if you want to use Jenkins for Jira and all everything, if you want to use it, but make sure you see there will be some free tools which are available. At the same time, there will be some paid tools. Depends on the requirement what organization has, this customization will be made. And uh, I must tell you one point in between the video. Yeah. See, whenever we use Jira, especially in the real world, what will happen, whatever the training purpose related, the cloud versions, whatever we use for trial version available tools, there is a slight variation. Because whatever we use in real world is a customized version. Depends on the industry, depends on the tools, what they require, uh, they customize it. For example, they want some uh, for maybe for integration purpose of DevOps they want. Maybe they want some document collaboration. So what they do, they integrate Jira with Jenkins and as well as uh, even for Confluence also. Maybe for uh, source code management, they require Bitbucket. They will get it connected, customized. This is how the customization will be there. So whenever we are working on Jira in the real world, automatically all these will be available on there itself. We don't need to do it again. But when, whenever we are training ourselves, whenever we are, we need to always, we need to uh, connect whatever is needed and all. Of course, this is all for the learning purpose, nothing uh, difficult for you to do it, right? So here I can say there is an option called Jenkins for Jira, right? This is what I must tell you. Uh, okay, let me continue, right? So this is what generally Jira, Jenkins for Jira, where if you want, we can connect it. So Jira official, Batlassian. Installing Jenkins for Jira, which is an official app, which I'm connecting here. It is under installation process. Please uh, wait for a few minutes. Right, so you can see here, see, the project was added added to the project, right? So you can see Jenkins for Jira official was added, right? So it is successful. So which was already successful here, right? So this is how generally, yeah, this is how generally the tools and all everything we can add. So here you can see, we have an option where we have uh, uh, Jenkins uh, for Jira was, integrated with this right so this is how generally this tool sign in all at the same time if you want any other tools all that in the same manner right whatever the related tools you can see bitbucket was already installed if that is what confluence was there even jenkins was done recently jira product discovery was already there service management of course i am using this for my training purposes as well as for my uh, real time uh, training related for the corporates and as less for the students i have installed all these so because normally these trainings were customized sometimes when it is required customization otherwise general jira training will be given according to the requirement of the people so almost all the um, uh, tools and all everything i have uh, uh, connected so that uh, because some people require instant management some people may be required service management some people required maybe testing related purpose, right? So they may be working on Jira relating to the testing part. So they may require that need. So requirements will be different from one time that it will not be the same for all the people. So that's the reason why this is all, uh, these are all will be added. And the recent added addition was Jenkins, that's what. And this is how generally this Jira integrations and all everything we do. And uh, this is how this uh, tool chains and all everything can be integrated in Jira so that whatever is related, even for code management or else if you want to have an integration to DevOps, all that. This is how we do it. Right. So this is all about the today's video. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, please reach out to the contact details, which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.